Would you like to practice English with me? Let's start. Today I'll tell you what the colors are. This Lego block is blue. The English word is blue. Now it's your turn. What color is the block? Blue. Great. That's right. They're destined to change our lives. Robots can clean, serve meals, even operate on us and teach us. Students in Bielefeld may hardly be aware of the extent to which machines will revolutionize their working world, even as their university develops new robots. This one is called Now. A researcher is testing him with the help of four-year-old Timo. Japan is ahead of us in the field of robotics. They're already testing robots in classroom situations. And the children are a lot more interested in the lessons in general if the teachers have a robot at their side. They like the robot and interact with it more like a friend. The robot isn't meant to replace the teachers but rather support them. A technical system has infinite patience. It's just as friendly explaining something for the hundredth time as it was the first time. And, for instance, when immigrant children learn German, the teachers here in Germany might not necessarily speak the child's native tongue. But we can give the robot the language skills so that it can speak with the children in their own language at the start. The German Aerospace Center is also making advances in the field of robotics. One result is this surgical robot, one of the first European prototypes. It's almost ready for its market launch. Wearing 3D glasses, the surgeon can see where and how to place a suture. Some 80% of prostate operations are already conducted this way in the United States, but only a small fraction in Germany. The robots don't operate by themselves, they merely aid and support the surgical team. The head of the Institute of Robotics and Mechatronics is convinced this method will soon be standard in Europe, too. The surgeons still decide what, where and how to make an incision, like in traditional operations, but now they've got a tool that's far more accurate and can extend or restrict their movements and compensate for hand tremors. That way the movements are much more precise, and that means the operation's results will be more precise. Concerns have been voiced that robots might end up replacing doctors and nurses, but Albu Schäfer insists that won't be the case. On the contrary. If robots take over some of the simpler tasks, the specialists will have more time to devote to the complicated operations and to work out better means of treating the problems. So, no, especially given the shortage of skilled personnel in the nursing sector, I don't think we're going to have any problems with the lack of jobs for people. Instead, I think the quality of medical care will improve. In addition to assisting surgeons, robots can take on less skilled tasks like sorting and sterilizing the instruments. Robot open. Now, when we say robot repeat, it'll look for the same instrument. And it's the only one in its visual range. In some other fields, Germany is in the lead, for example, with industrial robotics. This robot can recognize and independently recreate complex assembly procedures. Sectors that embraced automation early on, like the automotive industry, are still highly competitive and highly efficient. The German ones, too. And they are still producing massively inside Germany. The little robot called Now is not just a teaching machine. Kids like Timo can play with the robot as well. But they'll need patience. Sometimes Now is just not as fast as its human friend. <laughs> 